and Action Aid Nigeria in collaboration with the Small Scale Women Farmers Organization in Nigeria, Swafan. One campaign, among others, have described the 362 billion naira budget for the agriculture sector as too little to address the many challenges facing it. The groups made these observations in Abuja during a press conference to draw government's attention on the need to adhere to the Maputo Malabo commitment, which recommends 10% of nation's yearly budget to the agriculture sector. Contrary to this commitment signed by Nigeria, the group observed that the federal government had only allocated just 2% of its yearly budget to the agriculture sector in the past seven years. Percentage of agriculture sector allocation from the total federal government budget from 2017 to 2023. 362.9 billion. The budget for the agricultural sector is very low and represents only 1.32% of the total federal government budget. The budget allocated to the agricultural sector had not exceeded 2% of the overall budget for the past seven years or more. Nonetheless, actual data has demonstrated that a sector production in terms of social benefits to society increased with the amount of resources allocated to it. Enough support for the agricultural sector needs to be prioritized in the national budget since it is the sector that has the most potential to change the economy and employ the hearts of young people. Despite these challenges, the group came up with some recommendations that will help government revamp the sector, create job opportunities, and ensure food security. The allocations to post-harvest losses should urgently focus on supporting small cottage processing and storage facilities in communities based on different commodities to be owned operated, sustained, and expanded by small older women farmers' cooperatives. This will help address the challenges of post-harvest losses experienced by small older women farmers across Nigeria. The federal government should commit 10% of our annual budget to the agriculture sector to meet the 10% Maputo Malabo Declaration required to support at least 6% growth rates for the sector as postulated in the CADEF framework and ensure timely and total releases of the agriculture budget towards food security, unemployment, reduction and poverty eradication. The allocation of 450 million naira for the purchase of operational vehicle warrants a detailed review of the type and the quantity required for effective operation. The National Agricultural Development Fund should conduct a comprehensive analysis for its transportation needs and consider cost-effective options, such as leasing to minimize expenses. A transparent breakdown of the vehicle type, quantity, vehicle type needed and quantity aligned with the optimization function should be presented. Another area of concern observed in the 2024 agriculture budget was the misappropriation of the Agricultural Development Fund aimed at addressing the emergencies in the sector. The ministry listed frivolous, unproductive items such as renting of building, staff cars, and buses purchases rather than core needs of the sector. We run a risk for those that does not know the head and tail, you know, to just come and decide what the fund should be. The fund is meant to put in more funding for agriculture sector in key areas where there, there are urgent need and where gaps exist. For instance, one of the budget was saying 250 million or so for um, research and so on. There are many researches in terms of gaps, and gaps in productivity and so on. So that's why we are saying that that such an amount should actually be removed. Let the fund consult 
research agencies and institutions that already have those researches. You can't be telling us about researching about best practice for productivity in Nigeria. You know, we don't need that kind of budget line. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.